Hey guys, so I'm back with another video. Uh, hopefully this video is going to be very helpful for some of y'all. Um, as you probably know from the title, it is my Mac Drugstore dupes. Um, if any of y'all have seen my collection video and storage video, y'all know how many eyeshadows I have and from different companies and different products. So this is probably going to be like a series long. Um, so yeah, let's get started with what I found so far that are good dupes for each other. Uh, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started because I don't know how long this is going to take. So the first uh, dupes I'm going to show you are from the Maybelline Stylish Smokes number 08, the Emerald, Emerald Smokes Quad. Looks like this. And the first color I'm going to show you is Max Green Smoke, and it is a luster shade. And it's very similar similar to that shade, that lid shade right there on the screen. And I'll swatch them for you. And now since Max color is a luster, it's going to take me quite a while to rub this on and get a good pigmentation for y'all to see um, the difference the comparison. So, I'm sorry if I'm taking long. Okay, now these are not exact dupes for each other, but they're pretty passable, I think. Um, this is the MAC shade here. It's more green, and this is the Maybelline shade. That one's more of a gold base to it, but, I mean, as you can see, they're pretty much, from a distance, it's pretty much, it's pretty dupable, I think. So, there's that one. Wipe my fingers clean here. Um, the next one is in that same quad, and it's this crease color right here. And I'm comparing it to Max Humid, and Humid is a frost. Oh, let me fix it there. Okay, so those are the shades right there. Hope the lighting can see it a little better. And let me swatch it for you. Now, Humid is a lot easier to work with. But this Maybelline quad, that green is a little bit harder to work with to get a good pigmentation for y'all to see. Again, these are not exact dupes, but they are pretty similar. They could pass for each other. So this is the MAC one right here. That's humid. And then that's the one from the Maybelline's Green Smoke uh, quad. So again, they're pretty similar. Okay, so let me just wipe my hands clean and we'll move on to the next one. I bet part of this video is going to run so long because I'm just too busy wa washing my hands. I need more hands! <laughs> okay, so the next one I'm going to be showing you is from another Maybelline quad. and This is number 70 and it's Time for Wine. It looks like this. And the color I'm going to be comparing it to is Max Color in Trax. Trax is a velvet. I'm comparing it to this bottom shade right here. This is the the outer corner shade right next to it. Now, in the pans, these do not look that similar. But when you swatch them, prepare to be amazed. They actually are perfect dupes for each other. Okay, so this is Max Color in Trax, and that's the Time for Wine uh, Maybelline Quad. As you can see, the shimmer is almost exactly the same, and the purple tone is maybe just a hint lighter in the Maybelline Quad than in the MAC uh, color. So, I think that's a really good dupe for it. They're both really pretty. I guess the MAC color has a lot more of the gold shimmer to it, but... Again, it's pretty well dupable. That's probably my favorite dupe right there. Okay, next I'm moving on to... Let's see. I'm trying to find the palette. Where is it? Ah, here it is. Okay. So next I'm going to show you from the Wet n Wild 248 Lust palette. It's the one with six shadows. Uh, this one I do not have the MAC dupe for, only because there's a big hype on YouTube about it not being a good color, um, and a lot of people complain about it. I didn't think it was worth it. Um, and it's this color right here. If you can guess, it's MAC's Beauty Marked. This is the dupe for it. And it's that real deep purple with the purple shimmer in it. But this color is highly pigmented. Like, look at that. 
See, it's like a very deep purple, almost to a black, and it's got that purple shimmer to it. Um, and from all the reviews I hear on YouTube about Beauty Mark being a horrible shadow, this one is probably a better version of it because it blends so perfectly. It's very smooth, and you don't need a lot of product. Like, I wiped way too much of that onto my finger. But um, it's a good color, and I don't see any need to buy Beauty Mark for, because I have that color. Um, let's see, we're doing good on time. Okay, next I'm going to show you... This is the Notoriety Quad. It came out with the MAC... What was it? MAC Makeup Art Color... Whatever, I don't remember anymore. It was like last year. Um, this is the Notori Notoriety Palette. And I'm going to show you this color here. This is Rich and Earthy, and it's a Veluxe Pearl. And I'm comparing that to Revlon's color uh, in Brushed Copper. It's the single shadows like this. Let me show you. And I'm going to swatch that for you. This is a very neutral palette. I like it. I just don't get a lot of use out of it because, well, I film a lot of my videos and I don't like to put videos on there that y'all can't get a hold of some of that stuff. It's the only bad thing. Okay, this is similar in color but not the finish. Mm. Maybe not. <laughs> I think I wrote down my notes wrong. Whoopsie! Okay, edit that part out. Just forget I said anything about that. Uh, that's funny. Okay. Anyways, okay. So that was the shadow there. I, I wrote it down for all that glitters. So here's all that glitters. Oh, I just got all over my pants. Okay, so that's all the glitters by MAC. I'm going to... It's, I'm going to show it in comparison to that Revlon shade. Um, this is... Where am I? That's all that glitters, and that's the Revlon shade. The Revlon shade is a li little bit on the lighter pinky-based, whereas all that glitter is more peach-based. But those are pretty similar. I don't know why I showed this color. It's pretty weird. Maybe I swatched the wrong one. No, I don't know why I did that. I might have put in my, my little notes wrong. Sorry about that. Just kidding. <laughs> okay. So next, I'm going to show you. This is a limited edition matte color. It's called Grand Entrance. It's from the Star Flash collection. Um, it's a pretty popular color. And I'm going to compare it to CoverGirl's Single Shadow and Rosy Outlook. It's like this. Let me compare it. It's like that. And I'll swatch it for you. I'm going to do my other hand because I forgot to clean my hand. This is such a pretty color for like an all over lid color. It's really pretty. I found mine at a CCO a while back. Okay. And since the MAC one is a star flash, it's very textured and very fine milled because I think it has like, uh, like, olive oil in it, that's what I've heard, that they're made with olive oil. So, let me get the lighting. That is Max uh, Grand Entrance, and that is CoverGirl's Rosy Outlook. So they're pretty similar, except the Rosy Outlook is not as powdery as the Grand Entrance. Um, it's a little more sheer, the CoverGirl's a little bit more sheer, but all in all, the color match is pretty much the same, and the shimmer effect is pretty similar, too. Did I say the sim similar effect is similar? The shimmer effect is similar. Wow, I can't even talk today. Okay. This might need to be a two-parter because I've only done half the colors. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this in half, and then I'll come back with the second part of this video.